Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate is Human Anatomy Atlas by Visible Body. I'll start off by selecting the atlas, uh, the button on the uh, bottom left. Uh, that will actually load the atlas, and you'll see the various options here. What I'm going to do for this demonstration is move down to the to the muscular system. Uh, then with a single finger, I'm going to slide across uh, to find the various options. And what I'd like to show in this instance is the rotator cuff. So I'll simply select that. It's a finger, a single finger press, and now you'll see the uh, the rotator cuff actually um, actually presented. Um, just walk through the various options that I have with a single finger placed on the screen. I can I can rotate in any direction that I wish. Uh, with a with a two finger pinch, I can either I can either zoom in or zoom out, um, and then with uh, three fingers placed on the screen, I can I can move the the skeleton uh, either up or down. So what I'll now do is I'll now start to look at the structures. So the first one that I'll look at is the infraspinatus muscle. I've selected that simply by by tapping on with a single finger. Uh, you'll notice that along the top of the screen, the the various uh, structures are are actually identified, and the one that I've that I've currently selected is shown there is the infraspinatus. And then on the left side of the screen, I have, uh, I have several options, um, including the ability to, to fade the structure, which I've, which I've now done so I can see what is below it. Um, and for the purpose of this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'll select it, and I'm actually going to, going to hide it. I've simply selected that option. And now you can see what is, uh, what is below that, and in this case, uh, the tear is minor sits below it, um, and that's a bit more obvious, and the relationships are a bit easier to, to see. If, uh, for example, I wanted to show the, um, I wanted to show the the uh, supraspinatus muscle, <clears throat> what I could do is I could just highlight that. Uh, I'm just going to move the move the skeleton a little bit so it's easier for the uh, for the learner to see. And you can see its relationships, and you can see how it uh, it comes across the uh, um, the uh, the head of the humerus. Um, if I want to look um, uh, and uh, more on the interior, um, what I've done now is I've is I've, um, I've highlighted the subscapularis. Um, useful for the for the resident to um, to understand uh, the relationship with the with the humerus and the and the rib cage, um, and just seeing where that structure is. Often very helpful just to go through several rotations so they can see that, and also to tip the tip the skeleton back so that they're now looking looking up the axilla. So uh, once again, this helps with the uh, with understanding the relationship, uh, but also helps helps them to understand what they'd be feeling when, uh, when they palpate in the axilla um, on the posterior aspect.